table of faith, with joys and sorrows, serious and needs. We unite the speaking of hope, sign of our quest for truth and meaning, in celebration of the lives you share together. We're also this morning going to light. light 11 candles this morning in honor of the people who were killed at Tree of Life Synagogue this weekend. So we'll light those candles and they'll stay lit for our service today.
will you please join me as we begin singing our opening hymn number 52 in the sweet fields of autumn. I invite you now into a time of centering and meditation, followed by shared silence. And a reminder, of course, that by silence, we mean the absence of grown-ups talking so that we can listen more closely to the sounds of life. Our children wiggling and giggling, our neighbors rustling in their seats, the wind outside, our breath inside. This morning's meditation is called Halloween Costume by Steve Garnis Holmes. Inside that monster, there is a lovely child. You know that. Inside every monster is a lovely child. Do you know that? Beneath this suit, that nice outfit, <coughs> beneath that street soiled mess is a precious child. The costumes run deep, of course, and become convincing. But you know better, right? You've learned to ignore them, right? When do you take yours off? Just be lovely. In this ribboned world, its feathers and fabrics and patchwork humanity, everything you see is a costume on the lovely one. Fell to the ground. 
Fletcher was scared. He was sad for his tree. He tried to pick up the leaves Go ahead, Fletcher. and poke them back onto the tree. But for all his poking, it didn't work. They fell down again. You're much better at this. <laughs> 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 it didn't work. <laughs> Right, Mother Nature interceded. <laughs> Fletcher felt so sad. His lovely tree had lost its leaves. And he tried to find help as more leaves fell with every moment. A friend of Fletcher's came wiggling by. I need someone who feels like a wiggly squirrel today. Right here's our squirrel. It's a spirit. Squirrel came by, and Fletcher said to Squirrel, my tree is in trouble. My tree is in trouble. The leaves are falling to the ground, and I can't get them back on the tree. What will she do without her leaves? So that's exactly what Squirrel said. <laughs> but he picked up the leaves on the ground and brought them back to his nest for a nice cozy bed. Squirrel did. There you go, Squirrel. All the while, more trees, more leaves fell from Fletcher's beloved tree. Next, another friend came along. Anyone feeling birdy today? Here's our bird. Come on up, bird. And bird tried to be helpful. She noticed Fletcher trying to jump and catch the leaves and get them back on the tree. She flew around gathering them for him and handed them back to Fletcher. But for all her help, he couldn't get the leaves to stay on the tree. Poor Fletcher was despondent. <laughs> Bird said, sorry, friend, and flew away. <laughs> and finally, Fletcher noticed there was just one leaf left. And he clung to it so tightly. He said, leaf, I will hold you to this tree if it's the last thing I do. Leaf, I will hold you to this tree. I will keep your last leaf tree. I love you so much, and I don't want you to lose your leaves. He said all that. <laughs> yeah. But just then, a big gust of wind blew past, and the final leaf came off the tree. Fletcher held the leaf close to his heart. He went home to his den, and he went to sleep. <coughs> <laughs> you might think this is the end of the story. <laughs> Fletcher slept all night long. And when he woke in the morning, he went back to visit his tree. And he noticed there was something different about the tree. He noticed his tree was covered in icicles. A frost had come overnight. And icicles formed on this tree. And Fletcher said, Tree, you are as beautiful as you ever were. And I still love you. And then Fletcher sat under his tree and marveled at her beauty, just as he did every day. And this is the end of our story. <laughs> so you can stay in the middle or go back to your seats. And we're going to do a memory tree ritual with some icicles you may have found on your seats when you came in. If you haven't lost it, I invite you to take hold of your icicle now. Hold it in your hands. And like Fletcher, consider what changes you and your family have gone through this year. The changes the world has gone through this year. Maybe you lost someone dear to you. Maybe a new member was added to your family. Maybe you moved or changed jobs or schools. As you hold your icicle, I ask you to consider what do you need to let go of? to fall away as the autumn leaves do? And what beauty will you hold on to forever? As you reflect on the changes of the year, I ask you to consider that beauty that they have created in your life. If you choose and you hold on to your icicle, you can 
come forward when you feel ready and place the icicle on our tree. Marking the beauty of transition, even though it's hard.
maybe you agree that yes, this new policy or another is the right choice for the congregation, but you still feel a tiny pain over the way you remember things being in the past. Change is so hard. Because change, even when it's good and exciting, means letting go of what used to be. Letting go is one of the hardest things we humans have to do. It reminds us that we're not always in control. We're not always in charge of our own experiences. And that's frightening. Sometimes we would much rather be in control of exactly how the wheel of life turns, holding tightly to the things we love, or even just the things we're used to, and never letting them go. Sometimes we act just like Fletcher, desperately trying to stick the fallen leaves back on the tree branches. And then, here's the really tough part. When we're holding so tightly to what we're used to, we might miss the beautiful newness that change offers us. We might miss getting to be part of the change, getting to be changers ourselves. Friends, I hope that we can learn what Fletcher learned. That change, as hard as it is, will happen. And in the dark night of loss, if we can let go of what used to be, we might find something beautiful in the morning. May it be so. I invite you to sing our closing hymn with me, number 311, Let It Be a Dance. And we invite any of the children who would like to come and play with our Lipto song to come and join us. Join me up here. And the children invite any one young at heart who would like to play a rhythm instrument to join them. <laughs>
Octavia Butler. All that you touch, you change. All that you change, changes you. The only lasting truth is change. God is change. Join us for worship every Sunday at 10 a.m. at the Unitarian Universalist Church of Canandaigua, a welcoming congregation. We are located at 3024 Cooley Road, four miles west of South Main Street, Canandaigua, just north of the intersection with routes 5 and 20. Look for the blue signs just before the turn. Your comments about this program or questions about the church are welcome at 585 three nine six one three seven O or at our website ww dot org Producer and Editor Daniel Brigham